My name is Gianluca Vialli, I'm an Italian uh, former footballer and football manager, a very handsome one, obviously, as you can see, and now I work for Sky Italia, uh, but I live in London. I'm so excited about, you know, seeing cameras around the street and all the crews and the actors for the one of the probably would be the greatest movie of all time one square mile so I, I, I look forward to that and perhaps I can get a little tiny um, acting part in it I hope so. When I read the script of uh, one square mile I you know immediately fell in love uh, with it and I think uh, it is a project that definitely deserves to be supportive uh, supported I I even though uh, <laughs> you know, um, Liam that's the, <laughs> the crown is involved, <laughs> but that should, shouldn't be a put off. Um, hi, my name is Marie Hanson. Um, I'm the founder of Storm. I founded Storm eight years ago. Um, I set up the charity basically to empower single parents. We empower women to reach their full potential. So basically our ethos is out of the darkness into the light. So whatever a woman comes here to do, we help them to achieve their, their goals. Um, we work with women that go uh, who suffer from um, sexually abused, who su who suffers from um, panic attacks. We run various workshops like art therapy. We run a job shop, so we try and get women back into work, into into back into work. We work with young people as well, so we get kids off the streets. Yeah, so that's basically what Storm's about. It's just about helping people, helping young people, helping single mums, and everyone are going through different circumstances. I think this film will show that you know. We all live in one square mile and it'll be, it's really imperative that everyone comes together as a community. Um, I was really impressed as well, not only will this film or this, this teaser, was they use people within the community, so we, they use people from um, our organisation, young people and off the street that would give them a sense of pride, a sense of goal, a sense of achievement. The kids that actually felt like, you know, I'm going to do something, I'm going to be something, which I thought was fantastic. Hello. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Piotr Moriarty. I'm an actor when I'm working. And I read the script and there was a line in it. It was, do not fear death, but fear an inadequate life. There's charity involved with this. And all charities need money. And to make a film you need money. So on these hard times, if you can invest in this script, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Hi, my name's Ken Cowan. I'm the founder of School of Hard Knocks. School of Hard Knocks is a charity that uses sport as a platform for social improvement. Um, the majority of the work that we do tends to be in the inner cities, not just of London, but in other parts of the UK as well. And I've really grown to love it, but of course there are great um, social problems in and around London as well. And this is something that I think Leon has captured just brilliantly in, um, in the script for One Square Mile. And I think there's a real connection between what he's writing about in the film and what we're trying to do as a charity, which is to address and explore uh, issues about living and, and the difficulties and challenges of living. I really encourage you to get behind the project. I think it's incredibly valuable. It's a great story. Uh, I've read the script and I love it. What amazes me about London is that one minute you can be completely enthralled and the next minute you can be appalled by what you see. Around every corner there's just a new story and any project that seeks to kind of encapsulate that and explore people's lives, it, it, I think is, is, is an important um, project and an important thing to do. Really excited about the film. It's going to be a brilliant project to be part of and I know that we as a charity really feel a sense of privilege uh, for Leon's partnership with us and we're definitely hoping to off the back of the film uh, explore the, the possibilities of doing further School of Hard Knocks projects in the Battersea area. Uh, my name is Kevin Phelan, um, I'm a post-production consultant. I've represented Lipsing Post for the last 11 and a half years. The script to One Square Mile, considering I had about 78 scripts sent to me last year, uh, apart from being extremely well written, showed the diversity and all the different stories that go on in London, particularly in that area of London, which has often not been shown uh, on the film at all, really. So it definitely ticked an awful lot of boxes for me, but it was, it was the characters and the, the storytelling, really, as in there are a lot of stories in there and how they all intertwine. The writing is excellent. Uh, I read it straight off in one hit. 
And as the stories unfolded, that's when the sort of wow factor came up. And if anyone wants to have a chat with me, how I'd like to make it work with them on the financing side, and obviously how that, that tallies with the post-production side, then give me a shout. Hi, my name's Max Rushton, and I present a TV show called Soccer AM. And I'm here mainly because I want a bit in the film. I even got a slight cut on my nose just to prove how urban and edgy I am. Uh, without being cliche uh, about it, London is different because you get fancy million pound houses right next to social housing. You have to interact with everyone else and it's not ghettoized like New York. I believe in Leon. That's why I want to invest in this movie. But because I don't really have any money, I'm investing my time in my living room. And the thing for me that I think is really important is that what I love most about Leon's script is that it brings London, my London, together. Thank you. I'm Gareth Jones. I am an executive producer who works in independent film. I used to run handmade films. and I've been involved in producing films from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels through to Secretary and recently 4321. And when I read One Square Mile and I spoke with Leon about it and I saw the cast that he put together and I think it's special because it reflects poor and rich, all sorts of cultures and I think it actually will be a film that will resonate with internationally with audiences across the world. One of the key elements about a film like this is that it's been made at the right price because at this price you can get international sales, you can do a good UK deal and at the end of the day if you keep the budget to a respectable but correct number you can make a profit which is still a rare thing amongst films so it's why you have to organize yourselves correctly which is exactly what Leon's done. I'm here this evening if anybody wants to come up and talk to me about any aspect of this very happy to talk with you. Thanks very much. Uh, hello I'm Romilly Winter I work at Mind Design. We're really excited about the project because it kind of reflects on the London we know as well it's, it's not just the one square mile where the film is based is, it's also relevant to our London and um, that's why we kind of produced a newspaper because it felt appropriate and it sort of reflects the the local nature of the film but yeah we were interested in the project just because of Leon's passion for the uh, for the film I think that got us excited as well and we wanted to really produce something exciting for the film Hello, I'm Ros Hubbard and I'm a casting director and producer in London and Ireland. I'm delighted to say a few words about One Square Mile. I've done a lot of film and I've read a lot of scripts and I met Leon Butler after he'd read this script and he'd been working quite hard on it and I must say I was very impressed. And what I like about this script is that it shows London and its different ways. People are mixed in communities, money with no money council flats with very posh flats and it's what we should be showing up and the way people could live side by side. I'm sorry I can't be here tonight to join you all and to support Leon but I wish him all the luck in the world and certainly will be available to work on it. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Chequers. As Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland I am delighted to have this opportunity to talk about the British film industry and in particular, this exciting new project, One Square Meal. Now, I first came across the draft of this marvelous screenplay some months ago, and I am delighted to see that my suggestions of including a car chase and a kung fu showdown in the third act have now been taken on board. Hopefully, many of you will be there tonight with a mind to investing in this exciting British project. You will no doubt have a glossy brochure in your hand explaining the many tax breaks and um, incentives my government have put in place. You may find that investing in one square deal will be one of the shrewdest moves you have ever made. And it will fundamentally help the British film industry, which, since it stopped making the Harry Potter movies, needs all the help it can get. So, once more, I entreat you all to support One Square Dance. Is it a musical? No. No, apparently not. Any dancing? A bit. Just a bit. 
If you support this fantastic project, you will be helping it to take its place alongside those legendary film greats that we all fondly know and love. Spice Girls, the movie. Carry On Matron. And my personal favourite, Confessions of a Plumber. Thank you for listening. Is that it? Bloody independent filmmakers. Why don't they get an honest job like everyone else? Right, next. Okay. <clears throat>